So this time on Weekend Rental, we checked out Worms Armageddon for the PlayStation 1, um, and we played it over an old DC bear. Uh, we had, I think, just one person who hadn't played the game before, um, but if you've never played Worms Armageddon, it, it's, it's a 2D turn-based kind of strategy game, sort of Scorched Earth style. Uh, you're launching missiles and random weapons at each other. Um, but let's get into it. Um, so why, why are we playing this? I forget. Um, I think it's just been a long time coming. Uh, we've talked about playing Worms um, on here a good amount and just felt like the right time. So did everybody know about uh, Worms before we played this one and in particular this version, Worms Armageddon? I was very familiar with Pretty much this version of Worms. This is the definitive for me, uh, and I spent a lot of time playing on a PS1. Uh, this Worms. I've tried to visit other ones on different consoles and formats, and found them lacking some something essentially uh, low pixelated uh, in their delivery. Yeah, um, I I I, we're, I feel like Armageddon is like the the pinnacle of the worm stuff i i pretty much grew up on the original ones on the mac that they really haven't changed they just add random shit to them um but you know if if you were to recommend worms to someone armageddon i feel like is like the one you would do yeah as somebody who's never played a worms game before I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of wild being 30 years old and experiencing something for the first time that everybody else equates to like Chips Challenge or something as like a game for that you know one would play on the computer growing up. It was fun. It was it was fun. I'm glad that I played it with a bunch of people who'd played it a bunch because you know I could see the possibilities of what one might do with uh, with the tools at their disposal. It was cool. Uh, I myself haven't played it too often. I'm pretty sure any time I do play it, it's it's around uh, Filter's presence. It was he suggested to play it all many time? <laughs> so uh, I'm not too experienced with it, but it's a great it's a great time every time we do play it. It's a good party game, good uh, competitive. Uh, like Mario Kart in that regards, you just you screaming at each other, you get mad at things. It's a good, it's a good uh, party time. I like it. Yeah, um, and and for myself, I've played, I guess, the sequel to it more. Uh, the I think it was called Worms World Party. I'm not exactly sure what's different between it and Armageddon. I think they just added more characters and it had online or something. It was pretty much the same thing. Um, and I think that one had a little bit more voice variety with the little quips that the worms would say. And that's really like probably my favorite, uh, part about the later worms games is just the, the character they put in there. But, um, I guess, do we want to talk about the game mechanics any, I think I kind of went over like how it works. Um, I think. For me, what sticks out the most is the items uh, and just how all the different modes change what items you have and how trying to remember how like half of them work is kind of a mini game into itself where it, it just ends up being pretty random, uh, but it's always a laugh. And yeah, the goofs, the goofs are worth it yeah, when, the when you worth when it. you wing it. It's very good. And sometimes you pull off something that feels miraculous. But it's not like uh, there's always a random element that that's sort of underneath the surface. It makes there are certainly times where somebody's flown across the screen and then knocked, nudged somebody off of a ledge just by happenstance because somebody decided to try something out. It's a it's a really fun way to to I don't know design a game to just put a bunch of things in there and be like, all right, figure it out. You got to be the last worm standing. It's an ever-changing battlefield. You know, you can't. You can only plan a few seconds ahead of time. There's no, no long-term goal in any worms game. Yeah. <laughs> other than to murder other worms. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like more interactive golfing. 
if you think yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it's funny that the wind plays such a big factor in this too. Uh, that it's enough where they gave it its own meter. There's um, a lot of systems yeah. at play. I didn't know that was a thing until the very end. That really got me. I was like, well, shit. Not, <laughs> you know, I guess if you throw holy grenades at yourself, you don't really account for the wind, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's like the classic, like you, you know, you, you, you lift up your newspaper and then the wind blows it into your face. <laughs> 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 but it's a grenade launcher. So. I feel like I had some winds in my face during this game. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll happen. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, just as many, like, um, valiant moments as just totally fall on your face mishaps in this game. Like, whether you mean to do it or not. It's just how it plays out with like how ra like I don't want to say random because you can predict how things are going to interact, but like there's so much to factor in in such a short time that you kind of just got to wing it and see what happens. Yeah, I mean the f the formula is is honestly pretty perfect. It's like the OG crazy ass party game. I mean it 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 really is like it, it's been it's it introduced a lot of the just like crazy random stuff just the the you know uh, oh i'm gonna get you and all that kind of shit it's 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 cool it's, it's uh the formula holds up and that's why they, do, they don't really have to change it much other than adding like variety it's neat yeah and customization more like you know naming your team and changing all the little details about your team but uh, otherwise the formula stays the same the art is great uh, in my opinion, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. the hand drawn like wallpaper style of the the t the earth, I guess, <laughs> the lands that you're on. Yeah, it's... I like that they're not shy to be like, all right, um, instead of ground here, let's put a camel <laughs> or a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the ground, very but we're making camel. You can uh, blow it up. It's nothing really from any other pixel in the game. You just you know. It, it, why are people playing words with friends? Why aren't they playing worms with friends? You know. Yeah. <laughs> this is a question I didn't know I needed to ask. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. about this? Didn't nice. adapt to mobile well. I don't know. Yeah. That's, that's a yeah. good question. That's Team something to ponder on. Now. Yeah. Team Seventeen, we want it. Give it to us. All right. Uh, I really just like the about this game that like. It's a, it's the sort of game where like it can get into a flow to the point where everybody is still having conversation but like maybe not even about the game until something exciting happens and draws yeah. everybody right back into it again. Yeah, the turn-based nature of it like has that effect. It it just makes me wish there was a replay cam for when those cool things happened. But Yes. Oh man. You just keep going along. Maybe in the more advanced Worms games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is this this is one of those ones. Like if you're just sitting around with a group of friends, it feels like you're playing like a, a modern like board game in the background in a good way. You know, yeah. so like Armageddon is is legit like the modern just like I don't care board game whatever do this <laughs> lap at it that kind of thing. You know. Yeah. Or like the family puzzle that yeah. you just walk in and out of. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Low stakes. Low stakes. And uh lots of laughs. Alright, um should we should we hop over to verdicts? Did a little yeah. discussion there. Wanna get into our personal reviews? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna make you go first, Pants Problems. Pants Problems, why don't you tell us what you thought about worms? Armageddon for PS1. Very specific version of a port of a uh, PC game of a Dreamcast tertiary game. It's good. I mean, Worms Armageddon is is a fantastic modern-ish, uh, if you take the Worms formula into account, um, version of it. It plays great, looks great, funny. Uh, it's it's good. I mean, if, if you're familiar with Worms, any version of Worms Armageddon is the way to go. And if you have the PS1 version, you can't go wrong with it. It's Worms. It's fun. It's dumb. It's great. 4.5 out of 5. Dope. Neosense, uh, what about you? What about Worms Armageddon on the PS1? I love it. It's it's uh, It was a darling game of mine growing up and playing it today, probably after a, a, a good amount of time between the last time playing it, maybe 10 years or so. Uh, it's still absolutely charming. It's ugly. It's 
absurd, uh, but all of its freckles and, and blemishes lead only to something utterly addictive. Uh, it's a four and a half out of five for me, and a big recommend. If you want to play it, you, you could do a lot worse than playing it on the PS1. Uh, but what did you think, Diamond? Wow, this is my first time playing one of these games. And uh, yeah, yeah. Now I, I'm glad to know what everybody's talking about. Um, it's been described to me before, and it's met up to the description. You're a worm. You shoot at the other worms. You got some worm friends. You try to keep them alive. It was great. Um, I, 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 I feel like uh, I feel, I feel like I look forward to maybe trying some of the other versions. Although evidently that's just not really, uh, you know, a big variety seems to be all pretty much the same thing but you know it's a tried and true formula i i, I witnessed it here first uh it all works and yeah i can't i can't believe i never i never played this game before solid four for me the controls were a little little difficult to to wrap my head around but uh <clears throat> that's not that's not a huge um a huge mark against it mega man man i want to know what you have to say about it Thanks, thanks, time on time. I'll let you know what I gotta say about this game. Is that it's pretty fun. I don't play it very often, like I said, but anytime I do play it, I do have a good time. I don't know why I've never just bought like a Worms pack of games. I feel like there's a some kind of mega pack out there of either ROMs or uh, maybe a PlayStation Store collection of Worms games. I don't know. There should be something out there, but. It's pretty smooth, honestly, for a PSX game. I did like that. It, graphics are fun. The 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 physics really made me mad. <laughs> just trying to use the ninja rope. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, guessing at which way your missiles are gonna go and how far your grenades are gonna go. Some of that was pretty simple, but some of it was like, oh my god, what? Um, but yeah, otherwise, I think this is a this is a pretty solid game to play with the people you like to play games with. Uh, Filter, what do you, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, uh, worms in any version that uh, you know I can I can trust by the two D worms games um, is always a good time for me and uh, you know I would play any version, but I seem to always come back to Armageddon and World Party. But it's not that I haven't tried all the newer uh, ver versions that have come out since. Um, this one's got some drawbacks where I would I would look for a different way to play it. Um, but I, you know, revisiting it again, I, I do think that um, there's a lot you can get out of it with all the different modes. Um, it's not just a basic game. If you actually wanted to take it seriously, I don't. I don't think this would be the game I would play for uh, deep stra strategic thought. But um, it always brings out some good laughs and some some really cool moments. Uh, so four four out of five for me. I, I would give a better version of it a five, but um, I'm talking about the PS1 version here today. I uh, still recommend it though. Definitely try it out in whatever way you can. I think even the Game Boy Color version. Uh, should have the the charm that counts. Love Good it. Words. Good words. Nice, like nice. Good review today, guys. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid. Yeah. It, solid. Uh, solid game. Love worms. Yeah, yeah. It's. I feel. Why have they need to do a definitive, like straight up, go all out and just do a weird ass version of this that has like all the different graphics modes all the different packs yeah. all the different things like you just make an ultimate version of it and like they could even like monetize the fuck out of that like just oh, make it so cool. and made version of it or something yeah. like good, good hate, play you know what I'm yeah. Could, yeah some it, simple it, quality it, of life improvements would really really make take this that a thing subscription the thing level. man this is just a gimme <laughs> but yeah. they but they have like Worms Rumble. That's worms. what this is. That's what the Worms is doing now. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I played Worms no. Rumble. It kind of sucked. It, like, it, it looks like this like glossy version of it. <laughs> Maybe I just have like it's not a real. A bad game. It's a very different yeah. thing. 
it, it's very it's different but I, I don't think it's that bad but yeah I don't know. yeah I, I just I feel like it's like kind of I, I mean you could even be as lazy like lazy as fuck and just mo like you could just shit worms out <laughs> for, yeah. you know that statement carries a lot of water <laughs> but yeah like you could just do that and then i mean i i know people it's just it's worms is almost to the level of like tetris in that way 